Hello and welcome. This is my uh, sixth recording and I'll try to do some fresh and interesting things today. So uh, let's get going. Put on two reds and one blue spring. Your headrest can be up. We're going to go ahead and start to flow back. So the first thing we always do is set our pelvis to neutral. So between the pelvis and the hip bones, we have a nice neutral space and the feet then are neutral. I think a lot of people don't think about their feet, but that's the foundation of everything we're doing. So as we go forward and back, the feet are completely centered. You can be on the mounds of your feet, or you can be on the heels of your feet. If you're on the heels of your feet, your feet are flexing back. And we're inhaling back and exhaling forward. We'll do two more. You'll notice that if you move without thinking about it, your pelvis can wiggle. We need to keep the pelvis steady and firm and come all the way forward. And now we're going to go wide, turn the feet out, and inhale and exhale. Coming back, and as you come back, you're going to sink your navel right to your spine, pressing through the heel bones. There is a neutral space in your neck as well. So as we lift our chin, we find the cervical spine in a neutral space. Last one. And we're gonna turn the toes and knees in, the heels out, and inhale back and exhale forward. And four, and three, and two, and one. And come all the way forward. So we're beginning now on a blue spring. Take the two reds off. And we're gonna take the foot bar one from the top. We're gonna to hold the ball in our hands. So if you don't have the ball, um, you don't have to have something, but you could lift up some hand weights and you could have the ball in one hand and the pole, the gondola pole in the other hand. So you're facing the back of the machine. Your back foot is up. And we are going to come forward one and come up two. See how my back leg is entirely extended all the way forward and all the way back. Knee stays above the ankle as we move out into the lunge. And last one. And we switch sides. Left leg is forward, the right foot is back. So even here, you're keeping the back foot straight. Nice extension through the rear leg. Nice, noticing the breath, and we'll take four more. And last one. Good, beautiful, coming down, setting the ball down, and you're gonna grab your short box and put it on. It is in front of the shoulder rest, unless you're extremely tall. And then um, foot bar is all the way up. There'll be some of you that will be using um, a red spring. I would say Nancy's using a red spring. Rich is probably using a red spring. Um, I'm gonna go down to a blue or a yellow. 
So I think I'm gonna try the yellow today. Feeling strong. Your hands are forward. Your feet are up on the very front edge of the box. And you're gonna extend and come forward. If you can be less than vertical over the foot bar, it's gonna be a little less pressure on your hands. Here we go, four more, keeping that tailbone neutral. See how my low back is not swayed? It's tucking under at the sit bones. That is what we're looking for. And four, and three, and two, last one. And we come in, and now I'm gonna take my spring, my straps are caught. I'm gonna take my spring up to a blue spring, because I'm gonna take a leg away. So as we come up on the front edge of the box again, we will hold one knee in. And as you extend the leg, the box comes forward, all the way up through the glute, through the hamstring. Big breathing. One more. And we switch sides, pushing back, bringing the knee in and out. Here we go. And four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, coming all the way down. Beautiful job. Okay, uh, going right into the abdominals, take the box off. We're gonna slide the pole into the short loops. And we'll be facing back. I'm gonna work on the deltoids first. So if you have the blue spring on, keep the blue spring on. Bring it all the way in. So between the sit bones and the top of the shoulder, we're gonna pull really tall. And we are going to exhale up, slowly coming down. And palms are facing the floor, the knuckles face the wall in front of your face. Nice big exhale, and coming down. Good, ribs are tucking, and we will do four more. And one. Good, beautiful job. Taking that spring off, putting the yellow spring on. So a single yellow spring. And this is still a little deltoid, but added core. So we're gonna bring the elbows up. And I am gonna roll down one, push the arms straight back, lifting up. If this does not feel okay on your low back, keep the elbows close to your ribs. And exhale all the way up, and we come up and reset. We'll do two more here. And set. Good. 
Now, I'm gonna hold my elbows at my waist and flatten my entire back. So neutral spine, we're coming down all the way and slowly coming up. Four, three, two, and one. And neutral, we go back. Four, three, two, stopping. And four, three, two, one. Really meticulous, very slow. And we'll do two more right here. Shoulders are set. Sometimes we just notice a couple things. You'll notice that your head is gonna move in front of your spine. You need to put your head back, press your throat back. And one more time. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do an overhand grab. The arms are extended. And we're gonna slowly come down and tap the floor. Exhale back to neutral. And we go to the left and twist left. And come back to neutral. And exhaling up, inhaling, coming back. Look back, unless your neck is uh, too sensitive. But you'll notice if you'll initiate the twist with your eyes and then your waistline, you descend so much more easily. There's four. And three. And last one. Good, beautiful job everybody. Go ahead and put your uh, long box on now and we're gonna do bicep curls. So most every woman is two reds and a yellow. The men are typically two reds and a blue. You might add the yellow. Uh, occasionally we take off the yellow and just do two reds. I just have a few clients doing that, but if you're one of them, just make that adjustment. Facing the back, straddle the box. And here we go. Elbows are touched. I'm still seeing, look up for just a minute, I'm still seeing some people pulling like this, and I need to see this. It's a curling motion. The elbows are tucked into the waistline. And here we go. That's five and then four, three, just one more. Good, nice and done. Setting the pull down. Go ahead and take the pull out of the straps. Beautiful. And then we're gonna put the box behind the shoulder rest with all of your springs. So if you're patting the sit bones, get your pad in place, facing the side. Now, we have a few options here as we come into pole work in short box. Uh, you can extend your arms. You can opt out of the pole, of course, always. But you can also have the pole behind your head. But if it's here, I would like the arms wide, not jammed up. And notice that a lot of people are coming forward and you're more probably one of them because most of us do this. Then we lean down and we reach out with our body and we come up about halfway. Coming down, slowly exhaling up. And we come down 
and exhale up. Big breath. Keep the left leg 100% extended. So ask yourself what it's gonna take to get that leg extended. Um, some of you might have too long of legs. That is very rare and uncommon. So if you can move more to the edge of the box, that will help. And come to second side. Twisting it around. Tuck the foot under. But moving all the way out. So if you have to extend your box farther, go ahead and extend your box farther. And we're coming down. And there's the pull. Exhaling up. Ears back again. Shoulders back the whole entire torso. And then breathe as you make your extension. And one more. Those get hard. I, if you're five feet five or under, when you make your transition now, move your box in front of the shoulder rest. And then you're gonna tuck your feet. All right, here we go. So tucking all the way through the waistline, but then neutralizing. So bring your ribs back. Perfect, we're gonna come back one and stay back. So you might be hitting the floor here, but this is also awesome. Go all the way down if you'd like to. If it makes you dizzy to look side to side, you can keep your neck neutral. And here we go. Four. And three, and two, and last one. Back to center, and exhale up. Take a breath, and we'll move back and forth. Really neutral, not changing the neutrality, neutrality of the spine. Are you breathing as you come up? Nice big exhale. Good. And one more time. And now we're pulsing. We do this almost every class when I wanted it on recording so people see it's not too fast. And I'm really drawing my tailbone right up into my navel. We'll do four more right here. And last one coming all the way up. And take a forward bend, breathe into your low back. And exhale out. Beautiful. All right, so go ahead and come right back up. We'll move into the legs again, so taking the box off. And we will start with um, single leg skating. So typically um, it will be on a blue spring for almost everybody. I do this on a yellow, it's a little less weighted. And there might be one or two people that choose to do it on a red. But say for example, you start on one spring, you don't have to keep it on that same spring. And you can also choose to have hand weights. We might start with hand weights and then we might set them down after a while. 
So we're coming all the way up. We're stepping halfway across. The hands are here. One leg goes out, and we come back in. And squeezing in. And stand up, and we switch to the other side. Coming all the way down into your plie. And this set, the arms are gonna come forward and back. It could be an upright row. If you have heavy weights in your studio, you could also change this into a bicep row. and come all the way up. They get hard at the end, so never take, take it for granted. It's gonna typically come on. And now we're gonna go right into another body weight exercise. Um, I'm gonna leave my feet right on the foot bar. It's a blue spring, it could be a red spring. I only have one client using a yellow spring. Uh, you'd have to be very small, very petite, probably under 105 pounds, okay? So facing back, the feet are on the grid grid. If you're taller, you'll definitely probably be on the red spring. So Nancy's on red and Rich is on red. Nancy often adds the yellow, which gives the back more support. I like that a lot. So say you've been working in the yard and your back is in bad shape, go up to the red. When you come forward, you're tucking your tailbone, pushing off the toes. Big exhale forward. Inhale back. And four. Last one. Come down. I typically like to separate the sets because then you can take a breath, you can recollect yourself. I'm gonna add a very small push up on the next one. Um, if you're feeling incredibly strong, it could be a longer push up, a deeper push up, but most of us will take a couple inches down and then a forward back motion with the carriage. One and two, three and four. the difficulty by pushing off your feet and extending your arms. We'll do two more. One more. Beautiful. Coming down. Good. Nice job, everybody. Uh, go ahead and put on your long box and you will use a red spring. There will be a couple that will go down to blue, but typically we're on a red spring, all of us. Just working the front arms, and then we'll go directly into a modified teaser from here. So we're straddling the box. You could also let your, if your hip flexor is sore, you can let your hip, your feet hang here. Good, coming all the way into have a tree. Good, there we go, nice.
Elbows are up. So let's look at your body. If your elbows are here, we really should have them here. We stop at this line, but if the elbows are low, maybe you need to go into the low loops, possibly modify the spring load, taking it down to a loose spring, but this is the exercise, palms in. Nice. And now we're coming to the forehead, fingertips tapping, come to the forehead and extend out. If the straps are touching the top of the shoulder, we just lift the arms up a little bit higher, but every extension is a contraction at the abdominal wall. So the navel's coming back, the waistline's coming back. Good, one more. And I slip to the long loops because I'm coming to triceps behind the head. All the way up. Four. Last one. All right, nicely done, everybody. Okay, I am moving down to a yellow spring. It's always optional. I think this is a hard exercise for most people. It's got a lot of balance elements in it. You're gonna scoot all the way to the front of your carriage. Here we go, I'm just barely on and we are going to stay upright. But I'm still seeing a little bit of this where the shins are hanging down. Can you get the shin line up? We'll go right into salute. Forehead and extend. Good, four more. Squeezing hard as you go out. So I'll hear people say, oh, I'm having low back pain in the teaser. And I ask them, are you squeezing here as you extend? The minute they do, the pain goes away. So you really do have to do the work here or it's gonna manifest itself in the low back, all right? Next one, we're gonna stay up and we're gonna stroke the arms. So hold up, slowly coming down, try to match my pace. Four, three, two, one, hold. And without using momentum, they come down. Beautiful. And four. And three. And two. And one. Take a break, bend forward, release the hip flexors. Take a deep breath into the low back. All right, we're gonna do a full teaser uh, twice and then we're gonna stay up and stroke it twice. So there's a little bit of a combination. So we begin here, we lower down, and there's one and two. When you come up on the next one, you will hold it. Maybe straighten the legs. And one, and two, bend the legs, and coming up, exhale, inhale back, one more, and we come up whole, possibly straighten legs, and that is a great set. Take a breath, breathe all the way in, and exhale. Perfect. All right, really nice, you guys. Okay, I'm coming into the glute. Um, we're gonna take the box completely off now. It's always on the table that you can modify something, right, or change it for a different exercise. But I'm doing this on a blue. The men definitely do it on a red. 
I think Tisha uses the small loop and maybe sometimes Lindsay, but I, I don't use the small loop. That would be um, pressure and um, I already feel this is quite hard. So you're standing up, my hands are secured on the shoulder rest, your knees could be bent. I'm putting my foot into that long loop, but the most important thing that you have to hear me say is that we are lifting from a lifted position. See how my leg is crisscrossed inwards so it's not touching my hand? We're coming up, coming up. So we never really drop, but we're lifting tall. Back leg is strong and straight. Nice. Very direct. You should probably feel your hamstring starting to activate quite a bit here and a little bit of the boot. Last one. And we release. I bring it in. I grab it with my fist. And I put it on the ground and switch sides. Bring the strap all the way up and stomp on it. Make sure those hands are anchored on the shoulder rest. Good, full extension. So just suss out if the leg you're using has a bend in it. Your standing leg can be bent, but your top leg should be fully extended. around the floor and you'll push the straps to the inside and you'll put the shirt box on. You'll have to experiment with how far the box goes out. Mine's about 20-25 inches. The knees will be against the shoulder rest and you will be using that round spine to go in and out. So here we go. and roll under. So as you come forward, if the box hits, just extend it out. So there we go, shortening. You can pick up the temple just a little bit in this, but your trapezius, the muscles at the top of your shoulders should be moving away from your ears. And your sit bones are coming all the way towards your hip bones. Paying attention to the breath. Exhaling as the carriage comes in, inhaling back. Exhaling and inhaling. Here we go. Last four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, now bring the box back in front of the shoulder rest. And this is a brand new exercise, so we're gonna try not to be frustrated. I'm on a blue spring. I still think the men might be able to do a red, but I'm not sure because it's intense. 
Um, I will face the other direction so you can first see where I'm going. There's a very real possibility that you'll also be on a yellow spring, but there is a crossing motion from all fours. So I'm hopping up onto the box. My hands are under the shoulder. Here we go. And we're crisscrossing behind and we're opening up. And we're crisscrossing and opening up. The leg is moving towards the springs and it's moving to the back of the machine. Moving towards the and back. You're facing sideways on the carriage. Here we go, almost there, give me two more. Full extension through the arms, grow the shoulders away from the ears. And last time we're coming in and out. Awesome, take the strap off, walk around to the other side. And coming up with all fours. Here we go. And extending out and cross the leg. I'm using a dorsiflexed foot so my foot is extended towards my knee. Just helps to keep a full extension on that rope. But obviously if you need more tension you'll just go into the smaller loop. There are these cool straps you can order where it has like a little extra attachment for your heel so they don't fall out. But it still seems like a lot of a hassle. And last time. Good, very nice. I think we did pretty good. That's the third time I've done that exercise, and every time I do it, it gets a little bit easier. So don't count something out on the first or second time, even maybe five, six times, maybe a month of kind of alternating through the exercise until you really understand it and know what you're doing. Okay, we're gonna take the box off. Moving right back into the core now. So hands are going to be on the gray grid. You could be a yellow spring or no spring. I believe Nancy uses a blue here. We're going to go right down the middle. But I wanted to talk to you about this one. So as you set up, the knees are directly below the bones of the hips. So just kind of looking down, make sure you've got a good line. But I'm still seeing a little bit of this shrugging shoulder. So take them back, lift the core, and then the neutral Spine all the way around. Hands are as wide as the outer edge of the shoulder. So if they're here, that's too narrow for the deltoid to expand. We're gonna come out, and this might be it, but see how my low back did not curve up like this? So every time I'm bringing the ribs in, I'm tucking and tucking and tucking, and I'm slowly bringing the knees in until they're under the hips and the shoulder is above the wrist. And we're extending back. And we slowly come up. Good, tuck and roll. Hips are up. And slowly resisting forward.
Nice. And we'll do one more in this direction. I'm going to change it up. Beautiful. Now on the angle. One hand is down. The knees are off to the edge. And we're going to slowly come back. And slowly resist the forward motion. And pressing back. Dropping in. Now a little bit more difficulty would be to lift that outer leg. I don't enjoy this feeling. It really bugs my hip flexor and a little bit on my kneecap. So I would choose to either move slower or to have the spring off completely here. Big exhale forward. Lift the waistline, moving it back. And we'll switch to second side, bring it all the way in, come all the way across. Hands around the corner. Here we go. So if you're here, just lift to neutral and start to extend. Good, pressing back and slowly coming under. Nicely then, two more. And one more. Good, beautiful job everybody. All right, typically I like to work out our hips now. So put on two reds for the gentlemen, red blue for almost all women. Um, I have a red yellow on and I do like to use the, the circle. So grabbing the circle. All the way. It's optional. This also could be um, a weighted experience. So coming all the way up, the feet are neutral, and we're pressing out and coming back in. Make sure you're pushing the tailbone down as you go out. If you want to make it just a little bit more accessible, you can go a little bit wider, but that will make it easier. If you're making it harder, the toe is angled in and the heel is angled out. And we'll switch sides. Typically, you're supposed to walk back and move around. And then we step into the non-moving part to come all the way up. Shoulder blades down the back. This is also an option, always to squeeze through the circle, dropping the shoulders. So if you've gotten them all in, switch to the other arm now. Still seeing some tailbones up here. So as you push out, dropping the sit bones and the tailbone to neutral. Nice. 
Nice, two more. And one more. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna do one more body weight exercise. Put your short box on one more time, facing the back of the machine. Your feet will be on the high foot bar and your hands will be on the box. It's like moving into a plank in a down dog. So, the gentleman, um, Leroy, you are on a yellow, possibly a blue, if that's a little too aggressive. Nancy is on a red, yellow. Lindsay, Patricia, on a blue. Rich is probably fine on a blue as well. Here we go, hands forward, feet on the foot bar. And we're gonna come all the way out, inhaling and exhale, come up. And coming forward, looking forward, coming back, looking back. Now when you come forward, you're gonna tuck your knee. It's a flat back for a neutral spine, right into the up position and tuck your knee and back into down dog and pull and exhale up. Lengthening as you come forward. If it's easy, you've got to adjust your spring. Keep the waistline lifted. Two more. And one more. And we're going to come out. You can take breaks between these sets. And you're going to twist and come forward and twist back. Look forward and twist back. Last one. And we come down. Nice job, everybody. Okay, we will put on a red for the stretch. That's awesome. Setting one knee down and one foot on top of the breast. We're just going to stretch through that hip flexor. All the way in. Nice, full extension. So see how this leg is steady state? I'm only moving through the hip flexor. Yeah, perfect. And we switch the top leg. What would you do if you hopped on here and I did some sort of fancy thing where I exited with a back bend? Maybe the next video we'll do a couple weird fun things just to try them out. I don't think I have a recording with a frog with a ball between her legs, but we can give that a roll. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good, beautiful job. Keeping the same spring, we're gonna have a seat. The feet are gonna be up on the foot bar and we're gonna press all the way back. Coming all the way forward and pressing back. And one more. And also a red spring. Your knees turn towards the springs and the arm comes up and over. Big, big, big stretch. Right into mermaid. And we switch sides. The knees are going to turn into the springs. The feet are going to flip to the back of the machine. And last one. Good. And that is it. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a good time. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out about any exercises. You could always take a video or a picture and send it to me and I could give you your feedback, give you some feedback on what's going on. All right, bye everybody.